Hello again, welcome to my page. Today is May 1st, but by the time this video go up, it will be May 2nd. Um, I actually moved to a new area or a new city last night, so I kind of had to figure out everything out once I got here and unloading the U-Haul truck and stuff, so that's why this video is getting up kind of late. Plus, I spend a lot of time at Target tonight, which I don't spend as much time as I um, normally would, but it was for a good reason because I got some great deals. So, with Target, there is um, an in-store ad coupon that you spend $20 on personal care items to get back a $5 gift card. And this is what it includes, which is pretty much everything. And this is what it excludes. So, take a look at that. And if you don't have this coupon, you can actually text the word BEAUTY to the number 827-438 and you'll receive it on your smartphone. So I used um, that coupon on four separate transactions and just to let you know, make sure you give that coupon first before any manufactured coupons because if it takes away the, um, if it does the manufactured coupons before then, you won't get the gift card. So just be aware of that. So another tip is try to find deals that have um, gift cards included in them. You, um, also, so like the Pantene, um, these were $3.99 when you buy three of these, which I brought three. Um, when you buy three of these, you get back a $5 gift card. On top of that, I use the in-store ad coupon to get a $5 gift card when I spend, um, when I spend $20. So I did the use around within this deal. This is $4.64. I had the $3 off printable coupon from, from coupons.com and then the Pantene was a $5 coupon from the PG May 1st. So out of pocket I paid $11.15 if you include tax. Um, my sub total came up to $10.35 and then $11.15 after tax. So here's my receipt here for that. And this is where I received the coupon, I mean the, what is it, the gift card, $5 there, and then $5 there. And then my subtotal came up to $10.35. I paid $11.15 out of pocket. I wasn't starting off with any gift cards or anything, so this is fresh out of pocket, so you could definitely do this deal. So I just pretty much rolled um, my gift cards into the next deals. So same thing for the Pantene, $3.99, get the gift card, and then um, within that deal, I did the Colgate. I went to two separate stores. Um, in this deal, the Colgate was $2.97, and then I had a $2, what is it, $2 coupon that was in today's, I, I want to say Smart Source on um, May 1st, and then the Speed Stick. This is $3.92, and this was in the the uh, May 1st Smart Source as well. Um, well, I'm sorry. The $2 off coupon was from coupons.com. If you end up getting two of these instead, you can use the buy one, get one free coupon, and that was in um, the May 1st Smart Source. The $2 off coupon was from coupons.com, so if you have that, you can um, just get two of those. So um, in this transaction, the subtotal came up to $10.83. I paid $11.84 out of pocket. And then I got back $5 extra buck, I mean $5 gift card from the Pantene and then $5 um, gift card from the Target ad. So over to this one. Um, same thing, well, different. The Vic Razors, um, I noticed that these were buy to get back a five dollar gift card so these were eight dollars in excuse me these were eight dollars and 49 cents so i brought two of these i had the three dollar big coupon that was in today's smart source and we had two smart sources cut so i can't remember which one was which but it was in the smart source and then the scope the crest scope these were $3.97. I had the $2 printable coupon that I used on this. And let me show you my receipt on that so you can see the big razors. 
So the BIC was um, $8.49, as you can see there. I got back the gift card for the BIC, and then I received another gift card. Where is it? Oh, sorry, here we go. Um, I had received a, another gift card for the in-store ad. So, oops, here we go. So my subtotal came up to $12.94. Um, and then after tax, it was $13.72. Plus, you know, I, I brought the um, gift cards. So <clears throat> I ended up paying out-of-pocket $3.72 with the tax. So last deal... Pretty much the same thing, except for I did the women's big razors. These didn't have any um, gift cards attached to them. Um, these were $5.49 for each one. I did this as a filler item. Um, it was, well, how much was this? Like 90 something cents, I think. I'm not completely sure. Oh, 94 cents. Um, now at this store, these were $2.47, which was nice. Um, I also used the two dollar off coupons on these. The big razors had the the three dollar off razor. I mean three dollar off coupons. I used two of those for these razors here. And then the Crest Scope, same thing, three dollars and ninety seven cents. And I used the two dollar off um, printable coupon on that. So let me show you this last receipt here. So this is for the big razors, um, the scope, the toothbrush, and then the two toothpaste. And then this is the um, $5 gift card that I received off of this purchase. I didn't get any extra um, gift cards for the um, for these ones. These ones didn't have a deal to them. But they did have another set of big razors for the women that was $9.99 for the two. And you get back a $5 gift card. So you can stack that on top. Um, I just didn't want to spend any more money to that than, you know, I had to. So that's why I got those instead. So, um, that was my haul for Target. So Target today, I spent out of pocket. Let's see. If I could find that here. I spent out of pocket $14.50. Um, on that last deal, I paid with my... Um, gift card which this subtotal came out to I forgot to show you that um, this subtotal came out to $8.83 bringing that to $9.94 plus I got back the $5 um, gift card so I got back $5.06 in gift card still um, which I ended up using for some miscellaneous things that I needed so out of pocket, I spent fourteen dollars and fifty cents, and that's including tax. And then I got back the five dollar um, gift card, so it's like I paid nine dollars and was it fifty cents for um, all these items here, which I'm not gonna do the average one. Um, I just I don't feel like doing math right now, but I mean it's a pretty good deal because like these are you know for over four dollars. Um, a lot of these items are pretty pricey, so. Um, over to CVS, I did um, two deals. I had $10 in extra bucks. The Physician's Formula is a deal where you spend $15 and you get back a $10 extra buck. These are $14.99, so I still got the extra bucks for these. And then I had a $3 off of $10 worth of cosmetics from um, the Red Box. Um, and if you end up having like one of those pilly, like $3 pillies, you could use this on that as well. If you do, um, it'll make your out of pocket or actually make this a money maker after the extra bucks of $1 and one cent. If you have the $3 pilly, which is found on the items, um, just a coupon and then the $3 off of, um, any cosmetics when you spend $10. So let me show you my receipt here so it's $14.99 I used my $10 extra book and then I used $3 off of um, cosmetics and then it brought my total to $2.83 and I got back to $10 in extra bucks on this so on the Tide phone that um, so for the Tide deal it's spend 20 get $5 extra bucks back and they're five dollars and ninety four cents. And you can use a two dollar coupon from the PG from today. 
Um, so you'll do four of those and end up being, let me show you the receipt. So I did four of those, use four of the $2 off coupons, and then the $10 extra bucks from the physician's formula. And it brought my total to $7.43. <clears throat> so after the $5 extra bucks that you get back for the tide and the coupons, you would end up paying or it'll end up costing like $2.64 per item. And the regular price is is about $8 and some change for these. So that's a pretty good deal there. So out of pocket today for CVS, I did $10.26. And I got back ten dollars in extra bucks. Um, the only reason why I did the tide deal because someone mentioned, um, I think it was couponing, uh, couponing with Tony mentioned that um, there's kind of a flute in the CVS system that it was like printing off a ten dollar um, extra buck instead of five dollar extra buck. But um, I guess CVS ended up fixing it by the time I got to the store because I got there kind of late. So I was like, well. I'll just see it, and plus I had extra bucks anyway, so I wasn't really worried about it either way. Um, but if you were able to do that and get the $10 back instead of $5 extra bucks back, um, that was great. So that is it for today. Um, thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks again for watching, and sorry for the late video. Um, see you next Sunday, or um, I might be late next Sunday as well. Um, if so, it'll be up early Monday morning. But um, thanks again for watching. Thumbs up if you like.